I will first use the uh, an infinite series made by Leibniz um, to calculate pi. Uh, this is it. So it is um, 4 over 1 minus 4 over 3 and on. Um, so first I will declare a variable which is pi and it will be equal to 4. And then I'll make one that's the denominator and it will be equal to 3. And then I'll make s which will be used later and it will be equal to negative 1. So I'll add um, to pi, I will add um, 4 over the denominator times s, and that will, s will make it so that it um, will um, subtract and then add and then subtract and then add. Um, so then I will um, print it out. And um, to the denominator, I will add 2. And to the s, I will make it equal to negative s. So it will repeat from positive to negative. And this should work. So it's working, but it's converging very slowly. So um, that's the end of this. So, this time I'll use an infinite series made by Euler, um, which is 1 over 1 squared plus 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 3 squared is equal to pi squared over 6. So, I'll make a variable called sum, it'll be equal to 0, and then a variable that will be the denominator and it'll be equal to 1, and then I will add... Um, 1 over the denominator squared to sum, and then I will print out the sum times 6 to get rid of the 6, and then I'll have to find the square root of that to find pi. So um, I'll put this in parentheses, and then since um, when you raise something to the power of 0 0.5, it's the same as square root, I will do that. And then all I have to do now is add 1 to the denominator. And then this should work. So it's working, but um, it's converging really, really slow and is not even at the um, third point of precision. So um, I'm going to find another um, way of calculating pi. So, um, this time I'm going to use something made by, um, an infinite series made by, um, uh, Nile Kantha. Um, it is this. 3 plus 4 over 2 times 3 times 4 minus 4 over 4 times 5 times 6. Um, and it'll go on equals pi. So, I will set 1 equal to, um, the sum of all of these, and this will be equal to 3. I will set 1 equal to the numbers that are on the bottom, and this will be equal to also 3. And then 1 will be the sign, and it will be equal to 1. So, um, first I will add to sum um, 4 um, divided by um, n minus 1 times n times n plus 1, and then I will add um, 2 to n, and then um, I will um, set s to negative s, and then I will um, print out the sum, and it should be pi. Oh, and I'll have to multiply it by the sign. So, um... There, that's pi. Um, and this works a lot better than uh, the previous infinite series we used, so um, that's the end.